What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today we're going to plant a vivarium. The very first one. I'm excited about this. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Are you turn when possible? No, we're not. The vivarium that we're going to plant is the one that I did that mimics the tree bark with all the lichen in it. So I have my plants down there that I'm going to be using. I have landscaping stuff, landscaping stuff. I have some dead leaves and things that I'm going to throw in the bottom. I have some earthworms in there that I'm going to they were fishing worms <laughs> so I'm gonna see if they're gonna do okay in here um, back here I've got rocks and right here I have a main branch that I'll be using I have some crazy glue and I also have some various sticks and twigs and things that I'm gonna put in there some leaves and stuff and I also and am going to incorporate my my DIY vines I'm gonna take the vines and wrap them around that branch right there so let's get started. I'm going to start off by cutting down a piece of this light diffuser. This will go in the bottom as a substrate layer and it also helps support the weight of the, the rocks and the stuff that I'll put inside. Just simply take a pair of angle cutters or dykes and just cut right through. I'm going to put this in here nice and then I'm going to start with my false bottom which I'm going to cover with my my drainage layer which is going to be aquarium rocks and then over that I'm going to put a piece of mesh down Got my screen mesh layer in place. Next is to put down a a layer of of charcoal. This charcoal layer helps purify any anything that's gonna cause an issue in this now we're ready for a substrate layer I want to bank this up so it's higher in the back than in the front Pat it down lightly. Oh, this is awesome. It's happening, y'all. It's happening. So I haven't decided how this is going to go in. It, it'll go in like this. play with this a little bit and see which way to look good in here if I use it at all okay I like this position here that's how oops 
put in like that. It's got this little little defect here and the little branch that broke off here. That looks good like that. Okay, now that I know how this is going to go in, I'll mash it down like this so I know where this is going to lay. And now I'm going to actually plant in my plants. First up is this beautiful plant. Unfortunately, this is an annual, so I expect it to die off, but this is a Dracania spike. Next up is this Vinca vine. It looks a little sickly. I've had these plants for a while in my bins, and I had not taken care of them, so it's my fault that it looks so poorly. I did take it outside and trimmed off all the horrible looking leaves. There's a couple that are on there that are not perfect, but I'm going to plant this in there. But it does have some new growth down here at the bottom. And what I'm doing is I'm removing most of this soil because I want it to grow in that. Because I know that doesn't have any chemicals in it. This, it may have fertilizer. Don't know. So I'm removing most of this soil. Now for a pop of color. This is Ficus Elastica. I'm not going to plant all of this in there. I will plant some of it. And this is Fetania Argronuria. Beautiful, beautiful white veins on there. Now I'm going to put this back in, but first I'm going to wrap it with the vines. I'm going to take dabs of super glue to glue this on. Hopefully this sticks. And just take this. I'm just going to wrap it around this total branch like so. Just do a spiral here. Could do a tight spiral or a light spiral. Mm. Super glue not holding. May have to use some hot glue. The super glue was not sticking at all, so I had to switch over to my hot glue gun. Hopefully this works a lot better. Looks like I'll have to hold it. This is going to take me a minute, so let me go ahead and you see what I'm doing. I'm just putting dabs of, of hot glue on there as I wrap this around. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to go behind it and wrap some smaller pieces on there, and I'll be right back. All right, I have my vine wrapped branch here. Now I'm just going to set this inside the the vivarium. Carefully without knocking any plants out of the way. There we go. Oh, that looks so good. I really like the way that looks. That looks amazing already. It looks so good. So good. I really like it. So far, so good. Yes. Now we need to put some sticks and rocks and leaf litter, all kinds of that goodness down there in the bottom. So I've got some twigs, I've got this piece here that I cut off the top of this. Um, I may or may not use it, don't know. Actually, I think it'll look okay right here in the foreground.
There we go. Now for some rocks. And I have some of these twigs here. I will use super glue on these. I believe this will work on this. Now eventually I am going to put some isopods in here. So I'm going to put a magnolia pod in there for them. They will eat that. I have one culture that ate one down to nothing. There was nothing left of it. Now I want to put some moss in here. I've cultivate, cultivated this moss. It looks really great. At least some of it does. Some of it looks a little bit dried out. So I think I'm going to go for this piece right here. <laughs> I'll bank the soil up next to it. There we go. Well, this is star moss, and I'm going to plant some of that right there. This stuff has propagated very well for me. And I hope it continues to do well in here. Nice. I'm very happy with this so far. This is some of Bailey's pasture moss. She was very gracious to let me have some. I'm going to plant this right here in the foreground. There we go. Now I need to add some springtails. I have some that I have in here that I've just been growing on some water. I've been testing out this to see how well it does. And so far, all those white specks, this thing has got tons of springtails in it. There we go. The last thing I need to add is some leaf litter. I have some of these magnolia leaves here. I'm just going to crumple them up and put that in there like so. That looks so good. some of these pieces of plants that didn't quite make it. I want to throw some of those old leaves in there too. And springtails will eat that up. Whatever mold grows on it. And also as this stuff dies and breaks down it will add nutrients back into the soil. Now I'm going to give this a nice good water and then I'm going to show you guys a close-up of it.
guys enjoyed this build just as much as I did. That is the first of many vivariums that I will be building. I'll be experimenting some. I didn't put, I didn't fill it up with as many plants as I wanted to. This is my first one. I want to see how well these plants do. I expect some die off and I'll just have to replace the plants as they die off and tie some up as they grow longer, especially that Venka vine that I expect it to grow up and around. So hopefully I can eventually spiral it around that log. So that'll be fun and interesting to see as it grows. And as time goes on, I'll be adding plants in there. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.